some time since I made the last video. That's because I've been really, really busy. But today, I am going to be doing a video on uh, progression, particularly how to change decimals into fractions. So, let's have a look at this problem. 0 0.1111. This is a recurring decimal. That means it's a continuous number. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to be using progression to convert this decimal number into a fraction. Now, to do that, I need to separate the components of this decimal. So I have 0 0.1 and then plus 0 0.01 plus 0 0.001 plus and it goes on and on. You get the idea, right? Okay, good. Now, the first thing we have to understand is that 0 0.1 over here is the first term or the first number. So which means first term or A is equal to 0 0.1 and I need to determine its common ratio. To do that, common ratio R is equal to the second term, which is 0 0.01. I divide that with the first term, which is 0 0.1. Now in fraction form, what I have here is, this is 1 over 10. This is also 1 over 10. Okay. So, so we are almost getting a fraction, right? Now, to convert this decimal number into a fraction, we need to use the sum to infinity formula. So we have sum to infinity equals a over 1 minus r. Now, I just replace the a number, I replace the r number, giving me this, 1 over 10 over 1 minus 1 over 10. So that means we have... 1 over 10 over, this is 9 over 10. Now, dividing these two fractions, we will now get this fraction. And what do we get? Well, the answer is 1 over 9. So you see, 0 0.1111, which is a recurring decimal, is actually equal to 1 over 9. Okay? Right. Now, let's look at a more complicated decimal number. Let's say now we are given 0 0.2777 and it goes on and on. Now, notice how we have 2 and 7. Well, the number 2 seems to be an odd number. I mean, the uh, number that seems to stick out. Okay? So, again, if I break this decimal down to its individual components, we get 0 0.2 plus 0 0.07 plus 0 0.007 and plus 0 0.0007 and it goes on and on, alright? Now again, notice that the pattern is from 0 0.07 onwards. 0 0.2 again seems like an odd number that sticks out, okay? Doesn't matter, we'll get that. So, using this series of numbers, we notice that the A number, or the first term, is 0 0.07. Now, changing that to fraction form, I get 7 over 100. And the R number, the common ratio, we obtain this by taking 0 0.007, and I divide that with 0 0.07. Okay, so this will give me R number of 1 over 10. Alright, very good. Now, how do I continue next? Well, we are still going to be using the same formula here, which is the sum to infinity. But remember, the result will reflect this portion of the question. Okay? So, A number is 7 over 100 over 1 minus the R number. We got the R number to be 1 over 10, so that's 1 over 10, so I have 7 over 100 over 9 over 10. Simplifying this, I obtain the answer which is 7 over 90. Now, please don't forget, 7 over 90 is just from this part up to the end. 
we have a 0 0.2 right in front here. So to convert 0 0.2777 onwards into a fraction, I need to consider 0 0.2. Now, if I convert 0 0.2 into a fraction, this means I get this to be 2 over 10. The back portion is equal to 7 over 90. So when I add these two numbers up, well, what do I get? Well, first off, 5 times 9 times 9. That means we will get this to be 18 over 90 plus 7 over 90. I add this up. This gives us 25 over 19. Uh, don't forget, simplify the answer. Uh, both numbers can be divided by 5, so the final answer is 5 over 18. So in other words, 0 0.27777 onwards is equal to 5 over 18. All right? Now I'll try to make more videos to explain further problems or questions related to math or even math. Stay tuned guys. Until next time, ta-ta, bye-bye.